very excited to open up my brand new Who Canoe Prospector in Catching Blue. Boat's ready, the paddle ready, but I'm going to tweak it and add some bits and pieces to it to make it a more versatile expedition boat. So what we've got in it already is a bow seat and stern seat, and we've also got a bow seat with a, a pre-made sailing hole and a yoke. And it's really good to see that this particular boat, uh, the woodwork isn't varnished, it's actually oiled, which is going to make my life keeping the boat in, in fair wear and tear so much easier. It's so much easier to get a little bit of oil out and rub it around the woodwork than it is to get a pan, sorry, a pot of varnish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lace the boat, we're going to put grab loops on it and swim lines on it and make it full for expedition use. So it's going to take a few sections. Here we go. Measured the boat and taken a lot of time doing it. Marking the boat is critical because you only get to mark it and measure it before you drill it. And if you get the marking and measuring wrong, you put drill holes in the wrong place. So what I've done is I've measured down 2.25 centimeters from the top of the gunnel or from the bottom of the gunnel. And I've done that all the way across the boat using a, a template. And then what I've done is I've taken my measurements from the center of the yoke because the yoke is the only thing that comes up to the actual hull of the boat and that's the only thing that the cordage or the lacing that I'm going to use uh, wouldn't be able to go around. So I'm going to make sure that I measure from the center of the boat, from the center of the yoke and the cordage that I'm going to lace through is on the outer part of the hull here. So you can see that I've put red lines to indicate where the cordage is going to be on the outside and where it's blank it's going to be on the, on the inside. So outside to avoid the yoke inside outside inside outside so forth all the way down the boat so carrying on outside inside outside and then it goes in at this point here that's where the lacing goes in and where the lacing is going to go back inside the boat I'm going to thread the lacing into where I'm going to put my grab loop and that's my grab loop hole drilled what well, marked ready to drill just there so I'm going to have my grab loop which we all know you can put your load bearing systems on to rescue your boat. And then my lacing is gonna go into the boat and gonna tie integrally into the grab loop. So if I ever have to pull the entire weight of the boat through heavy water, it will not only load the hull here, but it'll also transfer some of the, the load down the lacing so the entire boat is being pulled, not just the possibility of a cheese wire pull just on this section here. So in other words, it's all going to be tied and laced together from the very grab loop at the bow to the very grab loop at the stern all the way down the lacing of the boat. The whole thing is roped and tied to make a, a more rigid system. Here's something different that I do to most people. Um, if you just put your grab loop on like so, thread it through and then attach it to whatever if you get any internal pulls or external pulls the, the size of the grab loop will shift around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a barrel knot here and cinch that up nice and neat and then when I fix it to the boat the grab loop will sit proud only just big enough to get cameras um, to get carabiners through uh, and then if there's any internal pull, the loop will not be retracted. So it won't get pulled flush against the side of the boat. So I'm basically setting it up so the group grab loop will be a fixed size and always stay at the right distance from the boat. So there's my two pre-tied barrel knots. Now all I have to do is pull the right tight up to the hull. But a bit of work, got it. Two knots are now flush to the boat and the loop sits just big enough to clip carabiners through and little bits of cordage but it's quite tricky to get your whole hand wrapped in there so you could hold on with your fingers but you wouldn't be able to get your whole hand in which is pretty important for safety so there we go that's uh, two barrel knots butted up to the boat so now i've got to secure it on the inside so looking inside the boat now you can see the two lines coming in that make the grab loop coming through those holes nice neat and tidy and you can see i've got uh, excessive rope here all been planned to be here that amount of rope because what I'm going to do is now tie those off with uh, two overhand knots. One overhand knot tied, second overhand knot tied right up to the first overhand knot so there's no way those two knots are going to roll down the ropes. 
tied and cut two overhand knots sealed at the end with heat guns so the grab loops are now fitted and what we've also done is drilled down the holes all the way down the boat for the lacing and inside the boat we've looked at places where we're going to want uh, loops to secure loads so we've marked out every particular point that's going to require a loop on it now as you can see the lacing is ready to go in fitting the lacing i've taken the lacing cordage and found the center of the cordage which is going to be at least twice the length of the boat plus bits and pieces for knots and bits and pieces for loops and what i've done is i've taken the cordage and i've locks footed the cordage onto the grab line at the grab point at the front of the boat so now what we've got is we've got a load bearing line so where if there's any tension off the off the grab loop at the front of the boat it will pull down the lacing so now what remains to be done is to take the lacing and pass it through every single hole on the way through the hole so the whole boat now is laced all down the outside and you can see that we've got little gear loops sitting on the inside of the hole and importantly we've got about four gear loops on each side and we've got here a measurement on the side of the gunnels for the approximate position of where the kneeling thwart is going to go so clearly we don't want any uh, we don't want any um, gear loops there so we've got gear loops set out through the entire boat so that it can be paddled both solo and tandem with the seats and the, and the thwart all gear looped up and finally, what we've got to do now at the back of the boat is finish the lacing off and tie the lacing just into the back of that little grab loop. So that the entire boat is then wrapped up in rope. So the whole hull takes a strain if it needs to. So that's the lacing now tied finally to the end of the boat at the grab loops. So the grab loops will load and then they will also pull on the lacing, which will then pull down the entire length of the hull of the boat, keeping the boat uh, fully tensioned rather than just cheese wiring at the front.